Hey guys, hope you're having a great, it was a great life. Dude, Andy and Alex, quarantine special, coronavirus yep. special. Checking out some ZZ Top. Yeah, so we uh, we need some great music now that we're stuck inside all day. Yeah, all right? Yeah, so uh, that being said, brand new band, you guys have commented a bunch, like, supposedly these are some fucking real, real rockers, some like old school, southern, good feeling rockers. It's been I think requested Texas rock. for a bit. Yeah, yeah. so... I'm I'm hype. The song is Lagrange or Lagrange, not Some, sure which one. Something like that. It's got La in the front of it. Yeah. I mean, that means there's not much to go off of that. It's just we're just excited. Yeah. That's that's the moral. So that being said, let's get I'm into it. Into it. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Rumors spread around. You like to take the town. About to check outside the game. The Grange, okay. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Just <laughs> let me know if you wanna go to that whole mile on the range. They got a lot of nice girls. <laughs> Dude! Wow! It's so good. It's like on the like on the side of the snare or like on the, the toms. Yeah. Fade out, dude. Yeah. They, they make, make like come across like as the song's ending. That's when the real party is starting, almost. Wow. Like, you know what I mean? Like that was, I thought that was a perfect way of describing that. Just like, oh, just the progression has felt so much more. You almost like, feel saucy. like you're the pizza guy, like delivering pizza, and they open, they tip you, and you're like, they close the door, and you close the door, and you're like, oh, but all of that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like it's like I'm working right now, and I'm just delivering extra fun to this house of already way too much fun. 
Yeah, because he's like letting these like power cords ring out. Dude, I bet I bet he made. tipped you so much too. Like if you were delivering pizza to this hypothetical house in this song, yeah. dude, you got tipped like 106 bucks. And you're like, bro, this is like a this is like one thing of breadsticks. Right. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ballsy, like how he kind of came in with those type of vocals. Only well, because definitely not traditional at all. Not at all. Fine. And here's what I'll say. Go ahead. Rock and roll, to me, at its heart, and honestly, maybe any music, but yep. especially rock and roll, is all about swagger and confidence. Yeah. And being this, able to sell it, dude. This guy had so much freaking confidence in himself. Like, it was, like, like the low voice, the it, it, dude. It sounded like this is the biggest hit too. And you know what? Like when they're writing it, like as the writer, like wow, this is one of our best songs, probably. You know what I mean? Like always yeah. one of our most radio friendly songs. And we're gonna we're gonna roll the dice on having those type of vocals open it up. That's that's cool. What I'll tell you though, that's, oh, I love it. Like if this did one of their best songs, it's crazy because most of most artists like best song is well, I mean best meaning like commercial success. I, I get what you mean. So one of the like most of their like best charting successes usually are not not formulaic but they follow they're like like everyone's like oh that's the radio hit and it's usually radio because it's like they follow a pretty st like mm -hmm. standard structure they're going for a song where it's like we do this song so that the rest of the album can happen sort of thing yep there's nothing in this to me that screams this was going to be a hit like if you look at it on paper yeah it's one old guy from texas with an intro on the vocals with a really low non-rock and roll sometimes typical it's voice. all you need man. and then just a Apparently. solo for the rest of the time yeah like did he uh, even jam go sesh, back into straight it straight jam sesh dude like, like crazy like he, I, were there any more vocals in the song or did it just the last like the last like 60 percent were there vocals we don't know <laughs> like, i don't even remember now i don't think so i think it was just like a really long guitar solo i don't know either way Phenomenal. I mean, it was phenomenal. Loved that tapping too. And I loved, yeah, the tapping was great. What what I thought was awesome is the atmosphere that they, they built in the beginning. Like the tapping kind of like, it made me picture myself like on some like dusty cowboy town. Yeah. Like with just some guy like polishing a gun and telling you a story. And it's like like his voice was like all low when he just you want to get real close. Yeah. Like it was just like I tell you this. It was great. I thought it was great. Also, like as soon as it started, I immediately like recognized like how it started. I was like, oh, yeah. I know this song. But then as the vocals started, I was like, oh, I do not know this song. Yeah, I feel. <laughs> do you know like, what I mean? I feel like that I've heard that riff in a commercial or an ad or something. I don't know why they didn't have his voice in it though. Like it feels like his voice would be like the. Probably because people like people in charge that use that for ads. Like, oh, this didn't age well, even though it really did in it sometimes. God, I think it's so cool. You know what I mean? It's so cool that there had to have been the thought process behind it. I don't know, man. It's just it's just it's awesome. Crazy, crazy. I th and here's the thing: this is like a three, four minute song, and at least to me, I don't know. This is just maybe how I felt. the The amount of lost in the sauce I got in it was comparable to what most bands take like a fifteen minute song to do. You think so? When, when it was like the the and round and and round the and round like the on the the higher the when he was like repeating that guitar line in the solo yeah. section and he repeated it for so long he brings you in but just varied it enough where it was like almost trance like where it was like the tone was impeccable what he was playing was so tasteful it's like that there's a reason yeah. there were no more vocals in the song it's yeah. because the guitar acted as vocals because like, what he's playing he's making you feel like he's taking you somewhere yeah he, he's simulating like oh this is going somewhere yeah. and even though in the short run mid run it's not really going somewhere but he's giving you the idea so then when it really does it's too late you're already in the sauce yeah, yeah. and i was dude i thought it was phenomenal song. i thought it was phenomenal what, what is the rating gonna be for this Ooh, i think a plus a plus i think a plus is strong too like i don't i don't have a an issue with it i think yeah i think it's all very very different Yep. And for something to be this different and on first listen sound this good, just that the opening riff too is just like because you you would have think you would have thought it would have had to have been done before before they did it, but it's like I guess they did it or something. You know what I mean? Like that's crazy. Someone had to write that. That's yeah. crazy. Just like the way it seems so like blues reminiscent. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love the kind of like uh, the swung feel of the drums. Like, yeah, <laughs> almost like you're trucking along, like you're riding a horse or something. Like it, it all goes back to that that Western kind of vibe. You know what? I think at its core, this is a song that built atmosphere from the ground up, perfectly. Every everything, the boom, 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 the bass line, the drum feeling. The, and the oh. even the Philly does back in like the, the way yeah. he did it was like a kind of not normal like an, an atypical drum fill I thought it was great and yeah everything nothing the drummer did was like 
super super insane until I get like an average listener who knows nothing about drums. But it, no, it was just different. It's like it sounds like oh he's playing for the song, which he is. But if you really listen, that drummer is a little crazy, dude. Yeah, like it's all it's awesome. Yeah, he was how like he would come back. He was like, I'm not gonna play on the drum heads. I'm gonna play on the sides of the drums. Yeah, like, <laughs> craziness, dude. Um, yeah. Yeah, A plus, man. So, I, what other ZZ Top songs do we have to check out? Yeah, this one was kind of. We saw people say you need to do ZZ Top. We saw uh, Lagrange or La, yeah, Lagrange a bunch yeah. in the comments um, from those people, but it wasn't it wasn't super wide and varied. So I'm yeah. hoping in this one you'll you guys will say, hey, here are the real songs. Dude, we were looking at some of their albums, like going through like the names of the songs. Phenomenal. Like their first album was called ZZ, ZZ Top's, Top's first, first album. album. And I was like, wait, is that actually the album or is that some abstracted title? You zoom in, the album cover says Dude, ZZ Top's first album. Hey, like, low key, best album cover ever. Best album, like name ever. Too far. No. Dude, you're going to, like, there's like, Zeppelin was like, we're calling this Zeppelin 1, right? <laughs> and then ZZ Top's like, fuck that. <laughs> like, ZZ Top's ZZ Top, first, first album. album. In case you didn't know. <laughs> Oh, man. It's it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah. All right. So, what is the next song? If we're to check them out again, what is it going to be? That's, yeah, that's true. The, that's the deal on that. Comment down below. And that being said, you guys stay safe out there. Keep in touch with us down in the comments, yep. and we'll catch you in the next video.